finally I said, hey, so what's your name? And he's like, um, Sergio. And I said, Sergio, I'm Sean Stasiak. And he just flipped out. Hey guys, well, it's been a while. I haven't been uh, on this channel in, in, in quite some time. I know I gotta be a lot more consistent if I'm to grow this channel. So uh, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna shoot a video tonight. Uh, it's Friday, June 3rd. I'm sitting in my car, obviously. I just uh, finished my second workout here at LA Fitness. Uh, squeezed in a, a really good leg workout. I had short time to work with, meaning I had maybe just a little bit over an hour to work with to get the leg workout in and try to get at least 15, 20 minutes of sauna in, which I did, and uh, but I had to constantly move. I couldn't rest much in between sets, which I find with those shorter um, workouts that it forces you to to keep the tempo up. You got to keep moving, right? It's almost like circuit training. So it's almost like a cardio workout. You're getting some resistance training, but your your heart rate's up, and in essence, you're doing cardio. Um, so uh, anyway, with all that being said. Um, I finished off with sauna. In fact, you can see I'm still sweating and I'm sitting in the sauna and I wanted to share this because this happens from time to time, but lately it's been more prevalent and uh, I get that uh, weird look and, you know, I have my headphones on, I'm in the I'm in the sauna and this gentleman's looking over at me and he finally, I see his mouth moving, you know, I couldn't hear because I had my music on, but I could tell he was, he was talking, he was looking in my direction and his mouth was moving and I took my headphones off. He said, hey man, can I ask you something? I said, sure, what's up? He's like, Man, you look so much like a guy named Sean Stasiak, a wrestler. And I said, and, and I, and this is where it's fun. Um, I, <laughs> I said, you know, I, I've been told that for for many years now. I look like this guy Sean Stasiak from. Who is he? And I started asking him questions. And <laughs> was he any good? Was it? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I watched his father. I was a fan of his dad, and I watched him, and he was pretty good. And. I'm thinking in the back of my mind, well, I, I was almost afraid to ask that question. I thought he was going to say, man, that guy sucks. You know, I couldn't stand that dude, but you kind of look like him. But anyway, I uh, I just kept asking him questions and we're conversing back and forth a little bit. And finally, I said, hey, so what's your name? And he's like, um, Sergio. And I said, Sergio, I'm Sean Stasiak. And he just flipped out. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's you. And you know, for me, it's it's funny because I've been so far removed from pro wrestling for so long. It's been 20 plus years. And I forget that existence that, that I once lived. And I think because of social media and the WB network, which is on the Peacock network now. And so people, I guess, it keeps you somewhat relevant, you know, to the, this younger generation. Now, he was in his late 30s. And so he remembered watching me, you know, as a teenager uh, during the Attitude Era. But he was just so overwhelmed, but just his, I mean, sincerely, authentically overwhelmed. He was so excited that it was me. And I'm just sitting here, you know, thinking to myself for years, you know, I, I, it's haunted me really because I was so disappointed in my own career and just think the way things turned out overall, just given the context of, you know, my, my lineage and my dad's legacy and our family name and everything, I just felt politically, it just, you know, not pointing fingers or complaining, but it just, you know, I just felt that I never got a real fair run, you know, a real shot at developing into uh, a really pertinent brand, you know, for, for any company that I would work for, but in this case, WWE. And, um, but it was just so cool because when I went to WrestleMania as a fan, as a and I'm going to get some footage from from that uh, posted soon. Um, I'm just thumbing through some of the video footage that I I um, I had uh, uploaded on my Dropbox account, and I'm just looking through some some different um, footage. But nonetheless, you know, all weekend at WrestleMania, I was constantly recognized, and and people were like, "Wow, you look like you should be back in the ring now. Like, why aren't you there? Why aren't you in the show?" And it was just, um, you know, I just have felt so much love and so much embracement from fans. And I, I guess I just never expected it because all these years I just felt so, I don't know, I just looked at my career as, you know, you can look at the glass as half empty or half full for me because given the context and given my background and where I came from, my lineage, I just, honestly, guys, I'm just being real, but I just felt like it was a failed career. You know, and some people, a lot of haters, people, you, you see things, people, you know, people are just mean, man. Um, you know, you suck, you, you, you're a loser, you know, you're a jobber, uh, you didn't amount to anything. I mean, it's just amazing how some of these people, just the hate that comes out of their, 
uh, their, their minds and their hearts, you know, but sometimes I wonder if that's even really how they feel. I think it's just more of a transgression. It's more them transgressing, you know, venting their own self hatred, you know, or, or unhappiness and grief or whatever they're going through. But anyway, the point being is that it's just been really pleasant to see authentically and how real, and I can, I can see that it's genuine. They really, truly are excited to see me They're They think it's cool. They can't believe like this guy today and or tonight in the gym, he was just really, um, super excited. He couldn't believe it. Took a little video with him and I just said a few things and, you know, and for me, I don't care about getting recognized. I mean, I really don't. It's, it's the fun for me is just the blessing in all of it is that just seeing the excitement and the happiness that it brings people. And I'm like, man, if you only knew, or you, you, you wore my shoes for a day, you'd realize that it's not really that cool to be Sean Stasiak. But, um, you know, uh, it, it's pretty cool and it puts things in perspective for me. It makes me realize that, hey, man, you know, we can look at our lives and the perspectives that we have of ourselves. We, we can be so hard on ourselves and have a, an interpretation of our, of ourselves. Right. And, but man, it can be completely the opposite for somebody else that sees you differently uh, and, and how you affected their lives. And in this case, this guy was a huge wrestling fan, grew up watching the attitude era and remembers me and, and it was just a super exciting night. He just couldn't believe it. He just kept going on and on and walking off. He's like, I can't believe it. What were the chances of me meeting Sean Stasiak in the sauna at LA Fitness? That's amazing. And I'm like, wow, it just made me feel really, really good, man. And you know what makes me feel even better is that if you can still recognize me today, 20 years removed from television, hey, that means that I'm still recognizable. I'm aging somewhat half decent, right? At least I hope to think that, but... Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. I guess the takeaway, the message is, um, you know, maybe look at something that you might have done in your life, uh, something that you might have created, um, something that you accomplished, regardless, win, lose, or draw, whether you feel like you failed at it or you came up short or disappointments that you've shared or, or you've experienced in your life. Maybe just look at it like seriously, the, the, look at the cup as half full as opposed to half empty because, you know, it really truly is about perspective, right? It really is an interpretation and not everyone is going to see those same things that you might see the same way. And in this case, I realized that my wrestling career, as much as I had been down about it and beat myself up over it for all these years, it actually... The blessing is that it created what it created tonight for a gentleman tonight. It made him so happy and excited. It really brought him back to the attitude era and it made him feel super charged and it was great energy. And to be able to create that, who cares how you create it? As long as you're not hurting anybody else or yourself and you're doing it in a positive way, man, that's, that's the blessing. So I guess that's the takeaway for tonight. All right. Be safe. Have fun. Until next time. Adios.